in this video we would be talking about the rest of the configuration of sqs and then one drawback and then how we can cover that with one library called as sqs extended library so uh, starting with this configuration called as message retention period so this is the time for which uh, the message is, is available in the queue um by default it is set to 4 days and it, uh, it, uh, it the range is from 1 minute to 14 days second configuration is called as maximum message size so this is the uh, settings uh, setting uh, to define the maximum size of our messages it the range is from 1 kb to 256 kb now what happens if our message is uh, the size of our message is uh, i mean is more than 256 kb let's assume the size of the message is 5 mb then uh, it cannot be fulfilled with sqs only then in that case we have to take the or help or we have to uh, uh, install another library called as java sdk library or called more popularly called as uh, sqs extended library so in that library what that library does and I'm, I'm not going to talk about that in this co course so it basically integrates um, sqs with s3 so what happens whenever we send a message whose uh, size is more than uh, 256 kb it's it is sent to the j uh, s3 and the maximum limit is to um, uh, 2 gb uh, so message can be up to 2 gb then we send this message to s3 and then we are whenever we request the message from sqs it is basically received from the s3 so java this extended java sdk library does this for us so it is basically integrating s3 with sqs uh, this is the example of it how we can use it with the help of java in java the, the example is there so i'm not going to go in deep for that so th this is all about sqs uh, detention maximum size and extended library